for cool. obvious reasons. That's so cool. In the watch. <laughs> Another somewhat interesting aspect is that but it looks so cool. relatively large... Chest and welcome back. So, fitting to the Euros that begin today, we are watching the most iconic stadiums of the Extra Glaser, the Polish League. So I'm very excited to see what uh, stadiums you have there in Poland, because to be quite honest, I'm a big, big football fan. I know pretty much uh, about football, but not so much about the extra class. So I don't know much about it. I think I know one club and that is uh, Lech Posen um, and Legia Warsaw or other way around. I don't know. And yeah, that is exactly what we are going to do today. I am, um, by the way. If you see that, I think I'm streaming um, the first game of the Germany squad today against Schotland on my Twitch. Um, and also I'm thinking about streaming the Poland as well as the Germany games on Twitch. Uh, so you can join if you like that. By the way, before we start, you find even more content like this and exclusive reactions like to 1670 on my Patreon. Link is in the description. Thank you so much for that. It is long overdue that I made a video on the first tier of Polish football. Mm -hmm. So get ready for some great stadiums and some atrocious pronunciations of their names. <laughs> I would there do the, the same uh, bad pronoun pronunciations. Stadion Krakowi Piłsudskiego. Like most of the stadiums in this league, this is a fairly new building that was constructed on the site of a very old football ground. To avoid confusion, I'll just list the year that the original stadium opened. There are not, the not many parking lots around the stadium. Rebuilt. In this case, it was completed in 2010. Mm -hmm. It's a nice design. I like the asymmetrical lines of the exterior. And while the interior is conventional by comparison, this is a solid all round stadium to start with. By the way, tell me in the comments which one is your favorite. Um stadium and which one is your favorite club from the extra Klasa? because i don't know so much about extra Klasa. the only thing i know is i think lech posen or yeah lech posen and i think legia Warsaw. i think that are the only two clubs i have ever heard because i think they played probably once or twice against bayern in the champions league but yeah um tell me more wow i have never seen up, it's a c for christian i have never seen something like this i mostly you have like I don't know, two sides open, um, or all of the sides open at the corners, you know, but this is only one side open. I have never seen something like this. The original stadium on this side was actually built when these lands were part of Germany in the 1930s. Hmm. And it was actually named after a certain mustachioed Austrian fella when it first opened. It was rebuilt in 2016 and now, despite its dark beginnings, and it looks it's cool a at fantastic least. modern stadium. Oh, and, uh, in the aerial shots you saw, there was one stand remaining. From and there the are all that. There are all that good footballers from it: Florensky, Kostka, Szczotcik, Lubanski, Gorgon. Are they very famous footballers in Poland? Tell me. Yeah. But it has since become a complete bowl. Like that as well. Stadionski with Biom Stoku. The Oer Stock's original stadium was in really poor shape before this bad boy was built in 2014. The morale boost to the players. Wait, I try. I try to pronounce it myself. Stadion Mieski v Biawe Mstoku. Biawe Biawe Mstoku. It was built in 2014. The morale boost to the players and fans must have been immense. The exterior is quite interesting. In particular, how you can see the bones it's so of cool. the stadium orange and white. And white beams. Yeah, it's even more colorful. Oh, and I like and I like the the the. It's like a little bit like flames, you know. It's red down there, and then it gets yellow. I love that with the right. seats. I also quite like how the double tiered seating transitions into a single tier at the oh, end. Oh yeah. Suzuki, Suzuki Arena. This one was actually built on a separate site to their old stadium which still exists. It's just down the road. Once more, it's a huge <laughs> upgrade in terms of its amenities. If this stadium is a Suzuki, their old ground must be a rusty old larder. Anyway, this ground was actually the site of a famous Polish victory. Nobody gave them a chance, but in 2009, they overcame all odds and defeated San Marino 10 nil. Wow. Interesting. Stadium Poznan. 
This is a stadium like no other. Not only is the exterior one of a kind with its oddly shaped roof, yeah. but the seating layout is oh, pretty interesting. Oh, I know that from well. FIFA. We've got one triple tiered stand for some reason. And at the opposite end, there is a stand that I is think that smaller wasn't FIFA. than the rest. I don't know. One of the starter stadiums if you make a, a new ultimate team in FIFA. I believe that one predates the rest of the stadium. The rebuild did take quite some time, but was completed in 2010. Hmm. Many, many um, stadiums are quite recent. Stadion Wojska Polskiego. Stadion Wojska Polskiego. Go. Polskiego. This rebuild was also completed around 2010. Unlike most of the others, they didn't Why, why are there so many... Uh, ah, probably you had the Euros to 2012, right? That is why you had so many stadiums there, right? They flattened the old stadium. They kept some of the original facade intact. Which, of course, is a good thing. It just adds a bit of character. That's not to say that this would have oh, been they a solar stadium relief. otherwise. It does have a few other design quirks. But yeah, I do love it when a slither of history is incorporated into a new build of any kind. Please hit like and subscribe. It would help me so much. Thank you. Stadium Mieski LKS. You're looking at images of this stadium in a transition phase. Okay. Just before matching stands were built on the other three sides. Oh, and okay. And it finally became a complete ball stadium in 2022. I'm not gonna lie, I kind of liked it when it had grass hills on three sides, but of course... It's something different, you will never forget the stadium, right? This is a much more practical design, both in terms of spectator comfort and atmosphere. Also, the groundsmen now have to do a Interesting, by the way, that you always put one stand, one stand, one stand, not like build like the building first and then, you know, the, the roofs everywhere, just one, two, three. Interesting. It's mowing. Study Mieski Vigliwitsach. Mm. You might be wondering Mieski why we... Vigliwitsach. Keep seeing the word Mieski. Well, it just means municipal. A lot of countries have venues called municipal stadium. But for whatever reason, Poland seems to be the world leader. Liebe this it. one was rebuilt in 2011. Oh, I should mention that a lot of I these like it. It has some, I don't know, Poland being it, is, it is small, yeah, but it has some style to it. I like it. ...of Euro 2012, along with Ukraine. This is perhaps the most simplistic of the new builds that we've seen, but that's no bad thing. Study Mieski in Floriana Krigira. Mm -hmm. This was rebuilt in 2022, which may seem perplexing when you look at it, but... Actually, it looks like this now. <laughs> that yeah, looks good. Yeah, big difference. Yeah. In fact, there's almost as much of a difference between this stadium and its predecessor as there was between the original stadium and the gravel mine that it was built on. Oh. Actually, come to think of it, the new stadium is looking more like a gravel mine. With that mostly grey colour scheme. That's right. It's looking good. Stadion Mosir. I'm glad this ground has a corporate sponsor, because the entire official name for the stadium has 52 oh, letters God. in it, and I just don't have that kind of lung capacity. The original stadium was built by employees of the state arms factory, however, it was rebuilt in 2012, by employees of a construction company, as you would expect. <laughs> this is just one of three grounds in the league with a running track. Stadion Rakova Chestakova. This is one of the few grounds in the league that wasn't demolished and rebuilt from scratch. <gasps> yeah, I know. But I mean, it's the second smallest stadium in the league. 5,000 So there people. isn't really much to demolish even if they wanted to. <laughs> However, it was significantly renovated recently, as you can probably it, tell. I, I like also small stadiums. They have some charm, you know? It feels not like, oh my god, that is... Oh, the Bundesliga, I can't touch the players, you know, not touch, you know, but I can't get close to the players. Um, and that feels so natural, you know, it's it's very close to the players. It's very like on a level with the players. It's not like, oh, those superstars, you know, it's it's more like like we have here in Germany, like in our third, fourth, fifth league or stuff like that. That is very cool, I think. And I believe they are planning on expanding it further. Oh, that looks cool. 
Stadion Schlossky. Schlossky. Before Poland's national stadium was built in 2012, this acted as their national stadium. Yeah, of course, looks it good. has been redeveloped since then. But even the current stadium has a lot to brag about. Firstly, it's the largest club stadium in the country, and it looks it's the really premier track good. and field stadium in Poland. Although oh my the God. fans could probably do without the track, it's still a great stadium overall. Well, it's not 52 letters, but it's close. Stadium Mieckiego Ośrodku Sportu i Rekreacji w Mielcu. Okay. That's an entire sentence. Prior to a renovation 10 years ago, the stadium had a capacity of 30,000. Now it's one of the smallest in the league. Why do you but destroy your uh, your stadiums all the time? I think the club supporters will be complaining. Because their old stadium looks very drab by oh, comparison. Yeah, okay. I mean, oh, they God. tried to make it less bleak by planting some shrubs, but it was in vain. Why? Oh god, that was ugly. I feel like how they kept the floodlight towers though. I feel like they are befitting of a club with the word steel in their name. Oh, I like that stadium. Tarczynski that looks cool. Arena of Wrocław. Ah, oh, Breslau. This designed stadium was partially inspired by a Chinese lantern. I like which that. Which is particularly apparent at night time. For cool. obvious reasons. That's so cool. In the day, it looks more like one of those big buildings that they play football in and people sit and watch. <laughs> Another somewhat interesting aspect is that but it despite looks so the cool, relatively right? large capacity, there's just one tier of seating. Thankfully, it's fairly steep seating, so those in the nosebleeds aren't too far away. Stadion Vati Poznan. Oh, Poznan. We've seen some very impressive new builds throughout the video, but there's something charming about a ground that has been built up bit by bit over the years. I mean, look at this old school wooden stand. Beautiful. And over on the other side, there's a newer but still fairly distinctive stand. So while it might have some drawbacks, like restricted views, this ground has plenty of character. And termites, probably. Stadion Mieski Vidzeva. During construction works in 2017, they actually found a munition from World War II in the ground. So potentially hundreds of thousands of people over the years had been unknowingly walking right over oh, the top of it. But I guess that's not uncommon in these parts. Yeah. On that bombshell, this stadium was built. Well, they got rid of it, I'm sure. <laughs> As you saw, the exterior features a nice blend of brick, glass, steel and that concrete. That is cool. I also appreciate the seating layout, which is a little more complex than just a single tiered bowl. Mm -hmm. Stadion Zagwebia Lubin. This was rebuilt in 2009. Mm -hmm. Probably also for the Euros. Color scheme that is reflected on the stadium's exterior. Green and orange is a bit of a no-no when it comes to fashion, presumably because it looks like a carrot. Oh right. And yeah, it does Didn't look think a about that. Jarring. And so they have wisely omitted the green from the interior, and have gone for orange and black, which is a bit easier on the eyes. Mm -hmm. Despite the myth that carrots help you see in the dark. What? That is so not a stadium? So many ah, okay, just the end of the video. My I was favorite. like, hey, what is that for a stadium? Well, I have to say, of course, the Polish stadiums are smaller than the German stadiums because, first of all, there is less money to build bigger stadiums, probably, because Bundesliga is one of the top five leagues. I don't know right now which place Poland has on the UEFA five-year rating, so I don't know which uh, on which place they are, but certainly not in the top five, right? Um. And the second reason is, you know, Poland is so much smaller uh, in population in Germany, but not so much smaller in, you know, in land, in area. So also more people would have to drive very far, um, yeah, you know, more far. So probably, you know, not so many people will, would go to the games. So of course you don't build so many places because that just costs more and doesn't get you any money back in, right? But I really liked some of the stadiums. I really liked the, the biggest one that, that looks so cool. Um, yeah, and I hope it was a very fitting video for the Euros. Um, let's go Germany, of course. But let's go Poland. But of course, if we play against each other, Germany should win, right? Um, 
And yeah, I mean, you have a very strong group, to be honest. But I hope you can make it out of the group. That would be amazing. And I hope I see you in the next video as well. That would be even more amazing. Until then, keep liking, subscribing, and we see you. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Oh my god.